In dentistry, root posts are used for the retention of artificial teeth. If a tooth has been destroyed by a deep cavity so that there's nothing left of the tooth's original crown, then it won't be possible to fit that tooth with a crown because the crown wouldn't have any hold. You can find out more in the video entitled Core Buildup. The important thing for a good core buildup is the fastening of the root post in the root of the tooth. This requires a good root canal treatment. You can find out more in the video entitled Root Canal Treatment. And it also requires a sufficiently deep excavation. You can find out more in the video by the same title. Root posts are divided into pre-manufactured posts and posts that are custom made by the dental technician. On the left you see a pre-manufactured glass fiber post. The core buildup is on the top, the excavated tooth core is in the middle, and the pre-manufactured glass fiber post is on the bottom. On the right you see a custom made metal post. Once again the tooth core is on the top, the excavated tooth core is in the middle, and the custom made metal post is on the bottom. Nowadays, custom made posts are rarely used, with the exception of root post caps. More on that in the video by the same title. This is because there are very good pre manufactured products on the market. Here you see various pre manufactured root canal posts. On the left, you see a pre manufactured steel post, and on the right, a pre manufactured glass fiber post. Steel posts, whether they are custom made by the technician, as seen in the image, or the pre-manufactured kind can sometimes result in a lengthwise fracture after several years. More on that in the video by the same name. Thanks to positive developments in bonding systems, you can find out more in the video bonding, glass fiber posts are used more and more often nowadays because they significantly reduce the risk of a root fracture. Glass fiber posts are bonded to the dental root in order to minimize the fracture rate. However, there is still a lack of scientific studies available, primarily due to the short follow-up periods. In the video, you will now see a core buildup by means of a glass fiber post. First, the tooth core is shown with the old amalgam filling being removed. The tooth is surrounded by a cofferdam, that's the blue membrane. The dark areas below the amalgam filling are either amalgam discoloration or cavities. The caries are removed and now the tooth core is built up. In order to build up the tooth core, a retention must be created. This is why a glass fiber post is fastened in the rear dental root. You can see how the dental root is first excavated. The drill used corresponds to the exact diameter of the glass fiber post. Now the drill hole is cleaned and then seared. Searing enlarges the bonding area. You can find out more on that in the video entitled Acid Searing. After drying and treating the drill hole with various other chemicals, the bonding agent is inserted together with the glass fiber post. Everything hardens for a few minutes, after which the protruding remains are removed and the rest of the core is built up. The plaster impression shows the core buildup, here in black, and the dental bridge is stable again.